especially since he was just killing people consistently with Dancing Blade. Yeah. You know, mash, mash the first three, then you'll hold back on the fourth hit a little bit. You'll get the fourth hit consistently, so long as you start right next to them. I found that out just from watching the MK Leo. So, put a little bit of faith back into Marth, but I still believe he's uh, not as a good character as Lucina, especially with the movement mechanics in this game. Yeah, perhaps not, but still a lot of people just knowing these particular situations. Matchup knowledge goes a long way, and from the beginning of the game when you're not going to have as much of that, a lot of things are still unknown, the counterplay still being worked out. That's something you can really bank on to perhaps figure out later, but in the beginning it's a lot more, you know, it's a lot more mysterious, Yeah, I guess, for lack of a better word. Alright, I need a hero coming onto the screen with Snake, Mega Man, and a Wolf in the lineup. We've got projectiles out here Sky for days. Skydra and Synergy versus Cashew and Kachow. Wolf and Hero against Snake and Mega Man. And Already I see this combination from Skydra and Synergy, and this is this is gonna be a zoning war for sure. Alright, I'm gonna call it right now. He's got top deck a thwack. I'd love to see it. I really would. Alright, he's got psych up. I think he got oomph as well. Alright, not able to get him on the roll read with the well, with the C4 there. And still trying to aim for all this uh all this damage he could get off of Psycho. Is that trunks I hear? Bro, I think that's Trunks. <laughs> back. Excellent parry and the throw to punish it after. Cashew making it back safely with an air and Skydra just having to go oh. back in the face of that. Ooh, gets a full charge. Uh, what, what is it, the, the fire? It's, it's not to sizzle. It's Kafriz, I believe. Kafriz, okay, Kafriz, got it. All right, gonna go with the down tilt. He tries to read him on the roll, uh, on the roll in with the up tilt. Not gonna get it that time. And that like that cipher, not gonna survive that down air. What a save with the nair there. We get a nair gonna send him back to stay. Like, yeah, I think he would have survived without it. But board smash, perhaps a bit ambitious, and kaboom. caught up in the kaboom. All right, trying to go in with. Oh, wow, going out. Sizzle, bang, and all this kaboom, like, ah! <laughs> oh god, that hurts. Kachow actually juggling his own teammate for a bit there, and he's gonna be losing his stock for that. Interrupted with the leaf blade by the downer from Kachow. I think people underestimate how good the hero's up tilt actually is. It's such a large move, and does so much damage to you. It's not as good as Snake's, but it's still pretty good in its up. I thought he was gonna hit Kamikaze. I definitely would have hit it. Kaboom gonna kill him? Knocked out of the Cypher as well. He just turned himself into a sitting duck and finally opting to restock, but Kachow and Kashu are looking so strong here. Skydra just trying to stay on stage there, but no. Knocked back off stage by Wolf Dash Attack and back air. Not gonna kill her. Oh, gets him with a hard knuckle. Has to time this well with the Kaklang. <laughs> no! <laughs> he sh no, he used his reflector to put him into the explosive. Uh, that's just mighty unfortunate. <laughs> if that's not big brain, I don't know what is. Uh, that was definitely little brain. He comboed his own teammate. <laughs> All right, has the bounce out that's very smart with all these projectiles that Snake's been throwing out. I believe it will save him from the explosion as well. Skydra at 132, the up throw gonna be saved by Battlefield's very high top blast zone. All right, throwing out these grenades here to push back. Well, what double? There's the magic burst, but not enough to catch uh, Skydra out of shield. There's the back air. Very nice coverage from Wolf there. and. Having Kachow move back to center stage so he can patrol what Snake wants to do, like he could jump air dodge in if he wants to set a C4. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't have mana at that point, right. but he could definitely run in with a fair, mm -hmm. definitely commanding space away from the Snake. And I think if he had timed it well, he could probably could have even gotten like a dash attack there or something that would have been overkill. Probably. He had time on his hands is all, all I'm saying. Yeah, there, there was a lot of things that um, that Kachow and Cashew had in the bag there. 
Yes. They had a lot of setups that could have went for went for the for the very safe back air off the dunk with jumping edge though. So very good call out for Cash. So sticking with this winning combination, Cash and Gachow, I think they just got off to such a hot start there and I have to imagine that there's gonna be at least some change in stage here. Yeah, I, I didn't see the uh, the stage that they chose, but they went yeah. to Kalos here for more survivability. Very good stage for Snake, I believe. All right. All right, gonna try to get him with the, uh, with the thunder. I don't know what that is. Crackle? No, that's the ice. But gets him with the dash attack there, and gets Oomba, and gets the snooze. Is he gonna get it? He does. Yeah, boosted with that attack as well. And Look at him glowing red. He has the capability to do a bit more damage if he can get it off in time. Yeah, and gets him with a two hits of forward tilt as soon as Snake does it right after him. Gets Kaboom on the uh, on the lemon there. Went Not able to get him with a fair. Yeah. Went for the daring off and off stage. Nikita in neutral. Interesting. Uh, definitely, was, I think he was trying to cover his teammate as well. He, he was trying to fight two people at once there. So Nikita, definitely for the coverage. She finds the kill with the back there, though, as he plants that C4 just to the right of the center stage. Yeah. I gets him with the X scissor back there. Oh, forward smash for his troubles. Gets the Mega Buster in his face. That one forward air, but the Kazap, or the Zapple, meanwhile, actually going to put him off. Ah, Zapple, there we go. Oh, man, almost whacking his own teammate there. That was very dangerous. Couple of hits on Blaster. One's gonna connect on Kachow, the other on Synergy. Ooh, not able to get the combo off of the grenade. He was in menu. The There's snooze! snooze. And, he get, and they get both. Oh. oh, that was just devastating. You got Mega Man going one way and Snake going the other. And Wolf up in the air, getting killed by the rocket launcher. Yeah, I feel like that was unnecessary for Skyder as well. They were able to get a two for one just because he rushed in to save his teammate unnecessarily. Yeah, definitely should have just went for the opponent there instead of trying to save teammate. At that point, that, that's that's it. That's your teammate's life. <laughs> like, you gotta accept that. Yeah. Oh, sending upwards with the heal on forts, uh, on the floor there. Gets the oomph, but immediately loses it. That tilt able to send. Oh! Good! God! Okay. Like a boom, top decking it. Up smash gonna be putting. Hydra, but it's gonna be Synergy who dies first. Gets a bounce up, very nice, just setting up just in case. Gets whack out, got a, a kaboom, got a kaboom. No, not able to get a combo into kaboom there. Grenade interrupting that S match and the Eptil punished Snooze, by Kashi with a back throw. That was such a good menu actually, got Snooze, Thwack, Kaboom, That's a re -grab. I got, he has oomph on deck right now. Holding on this back air here, but gets hit by both grenades. Not gonna come on with the uh, combo into the up air. Get Chow standing right on the C4. Wow. Almost died for it, but that's psych up now. Gotta watch out. Oh, wasted on the jab though, but does get the wolf up tilt after the four tilt there. Yeah, the up air gonna be the kill for Cashew and Kachow. Excellent work in a 2-0 again. We haven't seen a match go to three games thus far today. It's been relatively one-sided, at least for every match we've seen thus far. But as the games advance, I'm sure we're going to be seeing closer and closer matches. Wow, you're right. No game threes. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like everyone's just adjusting each other pretty quickly. They're getting the game. They're getting into their groove like more quickly than I gave them credit for, honestly. Yeah. And they're... They're understanding each other like super well. You can see the synergy that each team uh, has with each other, um, especially those who who do the two v ones on their own. Yeah, you can especially tell within the first thirty seconds of a game or so who has these combos rehearsed, who has these strategies nailed down beforehand, and who's just winging it. Yeah, I mean, even the ones who are winging it sometimes look like they know what they're doing. Honestly, yes. like, well, that's fair. Those players are kind of scary, like. Yo, how'd you do this? I, I don't know. I was just pressing buttons. What? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you don't like to admit it, but mashing works in doubles at times. So but at, at, 